Hey guys, what's going on? Recon 54 again. Um, some of you guys were asking me how do I get my periscopes off and threw them on YouTube. Uh, it's really actually quite easy, but I'm going to take you step by step on how to do that. It's, and um, like I said, it's one of the one of the simpler things to do. But uh, first thing, you got to head down to Reddit. Well, actually, first off, you need a computer. You can't do this off of your phone, okay? So get on your PC, and then head on down to Reddit. I'm going to leave the the link below for this thread but this guy uh, netman he made this tool to download those videos and now the thing about this tool is that it's not going to uh, record the comments that come up or the little hearts that you get out of periscope so in my opinion that's actually pretty nice but he created this um, or they I don't know it's probably a guy but sorry if it's not um, they created this little command prompt tool and it's quite easy to use so you're going to first off go to one of these download mirrors I just use the Google Drive one and so when it pops up it's going to have Periscope 2.0 zip what you want to do is go up here on the top and download it and I'm using Chrome so it pops up down here and once you get that you're going to want to open up the, the um, the, the download folder so I already have it opened up on this side and as you can tell it's in a zip what you gotta do is unzip it so the way to do that is on a PC at least right click and select extract all and it's gonna ask where do you wanna place the, the, the all the extracted files at I just leave it as a default or you can put it wherever you want it doesn't have to be there and then it's gonna open this up but it's also right next to it as well so of course you're going to want to open this one you can even delete that if you want because that's you don't need that anymore it's already been extracted so open that now just like how it was on the on the website how it says bin and start that still that will show up also on inside this folder because that's what was inside of it so what you want to do is hit the start so double click that you get a little prompt like this go ahead and select yes or run and now you'll notice a couple things it's going to pop this little this little um, command prompt open as well as create a videos folder up here okay so all the videos you pull down from periscope is going to get tossed into that folder so bring this back up now right here this little prompt says URL so you need the URL to of the video you're going to download. So the next thing you got to do is let's go back to this screen. You got to go to your Periscope, and how we do it, how you do that is Periscope.tv/slash and your username. So in my case, Recon54. So you'll see it up here. That's the address you go to. And now on your left hand side there's going to be a list of videos you do. Uh, if, you, if you have a lot of videos it's going to all populate right there on the side. However, I only did one. so uh, That's the one that's selected. Now you got to go over to this big old play button and of course hit play. Okay, so see? And that they see me? There you go, that fixes itself. But anyways, so you hit play. Now, once you hit play, though, you'll notice the link up here actually changed the address. That's the address you want to get. So you're going to want to copy that and then go back over to the little, what do you call it over here, and right click and paste that into it. Now, you can't, for those who like keyboard shortcuts, of course, you're going to know. Command, uh, control B or Command B, I guess it was on Mac, does not work in command prompt like that. So you actually have to right click and paste on that. So that's really all, all you need. So once you get that, you hit enter. Now it's going to give you a couple options. Uh, convert to MP4. All MP4 is a different type of uh, video format and it's actually easier on Macs to uh, render and play. So for me, I always uh, type in yes. And you hit enter. Next question is rotate. 
Now with Periscope, you know how you have the, the vertical view and then the horizontal view. I do the horizontal view because it's easier to uh, be viewed on a monitor or a TV or whatever other devices you use at home. Um, of course, if you're watching Periscopes and they like to do it vertically like this, you don't have to rotate it. But for videos that are like this, you have to rotate it or you should rotate it. Um, so in my case, I did it that way, so I will have to rotate it. And then hit enter. Once it does that, it's going to say, okay, start it. And it's going to open up another small little command prompt window. It's going to do its own little bits in there. And uh, you just wait until it says download, complete it. And then it says done, saved to that folder. Now, what folder are you talking about? Well, let's go back to that videos folder that it created earlier. Double click that, and you'll notice it created another folder with that person's, uh, that username. So once again, recon, open that up, and there you go. There's your videos right there. So you can just open that up, and there you go. Now it's not a you super see? big, it's not much light, right? It's not a big resolution screen because that's not how Periscope works. It has to compress and down downgrade a lot of the videos just so it could get out there to other people. It's not the best video, and uh, but it's good for those quick little things here and there. But as you can tell, no. but anyhow, some of you guys were asked. And then of course, in my post, like I throw it op over into Adobe Premiere, flip the video around, and I can just toss it right back into um, YouTube. Just upload it on YouTube, and there you go. You got your videos saved. You can down uh, archive on YouTube or however you want to archive these videos. So, I, guys, I really hope this helped out. Uh, if I left a step out, please let me know. I'll update this. This is kind of an off, off the cuff type of deal since people were actually asking me about this. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna pull one of those classic YouTuber things, but hit that like button. I don't know. That's just terrible. Anyways, you guys. Thanks for uh, subscribing. Hey, and also, I hit triple digits. I'm at 100 people, over 100. I'm like 108 now, nine, I don't know. I already, I'm over 100 people now. So everybody who's already been, who's been watching me, who's just recently subscribed, thank you guys. It's actually really cool, it keeps me going. And especially during these crazy, crazy hectic times of game development, so thank you guys. I really hope this helped. If you guys want me to uh, do any more how-to videos, I know some of you guys were asking computers. Well, I don't need to build a new computer yet, but stuff like that, anything you guys want, let me know. I'll try to do it for you guys. Till next time, guys. Peace.